Member states at the 2012 Review Conference say it couldn't have happened at a better time than now in view of the rise in stockpiles and its abuse. For participating states at the second Global Review Conference on the Program of Action, the uncontrolled spread in the illicit market of small arms and light weapons continues to have devastating consequences and a serious threat to security, peace, reconciliation and meaningful development across the globe. Every country is part of the problem of the proliferation of guns and in fact every country is affected by the violence that they cause. What we see is that around the world about a thousand people a day are killed by guns. So that's about one person every minute dies by gunshot and uh, most of those are homicides, that is a person being shot by another person, but there are also very large numbers of uh, suicide by gunshot and also accidental deaths. Also, um, people are shot in circumstances where it isn't necessarily clear what the motive is. And a lot of people probably think that people dying by gunshot would be mainly in war. But in fact, the majority of people who are killed by, gun, by gunshot, by gun violence, are in countries that are not at war, in situations that are not of war, but rather in the context of crime. The purpose of the two-week conference is to review the program of action uh, to eradicate the illicit trade in small arms and light weapons in all its aspects, and to look at the reviewing of the international tracing instrument. Um, there, over the last 11 years or so, in the life of the POA and its parent, its, its sister, sorry, instrument, the International Tracing Instrument, there have been gaps in implementation as we discussed. Um, we have not really achieved what we sought to achieve. In July, the negotiations of the arms trade treaty broke down. We are hoping to reconvene, hopefully, next year. In the absence of a legally binding instrument to to deal with the issue of the illegal trade in weapons, arms, small arms and light weapons, we have the POA. For CARICOM, we are hopeful that the POA would not, the new POA, which is going to be revised, would not be business as usual. It would include clearer and precise mechanisms for reporting, greater focus on capacity building and transfer of technology. Um, we'd also like to see ammunition included as a compulsory aspect of the POA, simply because um, there is a direct correlation between the illicit trade in small arms and light weapons and the illicit trade in ammunition. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, in his message to the conference, commended the progress made so far with corresponding legislation by some member nations, but says there is room for more. The conference draws attention to these burning issues and with Nigeria's Ambassador Joy Ogu as the newly elected chair, the battle must be won. She says members must agree on a shared vision about achievements so far and what must be done to enhance progress on the program of action and international tracing instruments. Nigerian delegates to the conference are also adding the voice of wisdom to the discuss. Look at the terrorist activities that are going on in some places, the challenges of Boko Haram. Uh, to some extent, those challenges wouldn't have been there if we have been able to control the free flow of uh, small arms and live weapons. Delegates are working assiduously to ensure effective strengthening of the program of action. From the United Nations headquarters in New York, I'm Joe Luciano, ATN.